I, I think I'm going to use a table saw for this. Well, yeah, no, yeah, well, yeah, for this cut and this cut I can. Because I do want them to be straight and clean. I do, I do. Put you over here. I wasn't far off with the pad dimensions. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's this been straight, so is it? You know what? I don't know if I'm going to have enough of this. I can do it now. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to figure out a way of getting this done, maybe. Let's see. That's a straight cut. Good. Okay. So this side is longer. I wonder why. Huh. Don't say it to me. Now let me crank this puppy up. Here we go. I'm going to turn the old camera around. I do. I do, I do. Oops. Let me get the tripod. Let me get the tripod. I did, I did. Kick the tripod. Now, I'm guesstimating that this side here is pretty darn straight. So we may have to do a little bit here or there. Let me pull this back a bit. so I can try to figure something out. <laughs> you notice I said try to figure something out? I should have put a walk through. <laughs> I don't have to keep walking all the way around. You know what? It's good for me. You know, the other day, I think I told you, uh, I had gotten up, did nothing the day before, nothing other than what you normally see me do. I didn't do any excessive bending over, bending, you know, and it wasn't an ache, you know, it was like, wow, I just, I can't get up without help. So, uh, that night the wife rubbed some, uh, I don't know what it's called, but I bought it for, well, she bought it for me for my fingertips because, you know, they were sore and I thought maybe I had arthritis, 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 no, arthritis, um, and I am rubbing them into the tips. I didn't use it that much because I'm always doing something with hand to mouth, you know, I'll have a half a dozen of chocolates or something, doves. You know, through the course of the night, I'll pick on them. Uh, so I didn't want to have anything on my hands if I'm putting shit in my face. 
but uh, so she took that and she rubbed my knees with it. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you what, and I put the uh, Dr. Ho unit on it. It's like a TENS unit, but it's not. You can set it, it has settings to, to work, but it more, it works more towards muscle than it does nerve. But if you set, set one of the settings, you do get the nerve setting. But uh, I had it on like muscle, so kind of like, you know, retract and give you like a massage almost. And uh, I put that on for, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes at night. And I'll tell you, after that, it's fine. Yeah, next morning I get up, bending down, picking things up, doing what I got to do. Okay, now I do have to mark front versus rear. So this is going to be the front. Because if I did it this way, it's still going to be the same thing. Mm. It is, but I measured it to go this way. Okay, so this is going to be the front. And this is going to be the rear. Draw a butthole! Well, that could be a sun as well. All right. Now I have to figure out how to cut this. What I'd like to do. See, the front one is not a problem. I can just cut that out. This is the problem. Because I want the support on both ends. So that means these have to be cut out as a whole. So let me drill a hole so I can start cutting it as a hole. A hole is only a hole. to make sure that I'm cutting out what I need to cut out. This is not straight. This used to be a gun rack. You know, you had two of them. Uh, I gave a couple of them to the club, and then I had a gun case with an open door and all that that I gave to the club. Um, I mean, it was more for a cabin, for show. You know, uh, I don't like showing that much as a rule, so, uh, you know, and I like to have things locked up, I don't know. well first we don't let a lot of people into the house anyway, but I don't want to have people come into the house and say, oh, because um, they may be okay, but someday over coffee, they may say, oh, I was over Buzz's house and he has, hmm, well the next thing you know that rumor starts to travel which isn't a rumor, and the next thing you know, you're getting broke into by innocent loose lips. That's where it comes, loose lips, sink ships. You know, I won't have guns hanging on a wall, even if they're, you know, just old keepsake stuff or just decoration, because it's an invitation. Okay, so this is not going to get cut. Uh, from here to there is going to get cut. I want to make sure that that is really going to stick out. But I want to try to make sure I keep it straight. I may build a little, or screw in a little jig for it. That might be the best bet. So I don't have to worry about trying to follow it. 
Now here I'm going to uh, I can't cut that, so that's going to be like that. Okay. So this here, and then the zigzag here, okay, and that there. So I'm going to take the line. But I got to know exactly what I'm taking here. Because it's awful. This is thick. Now, like I said, the best bet here is, well, let me drill a couple holes first. Let's get that out of the way. Okie dokie. Let me see. Let's start right here. Because I'm going to take that. This one's coming off right at the edge, so I don't have to worry about it. Should I? Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll do another hole on the other side. It'll be easier than just to take out the piece instead of trying to bend the corner. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. I marked it because I was looking at it saying well, that wasn't look right it didn't look right Ricky it did not look right okay I need I need what right here I think I think this will work just fine I put this here let me get the saw let me get the saw let me find out where it is I think it's this one It is. It is. It is. Now. Do I need a new blade in there? I don't know. No, it feels pretty good. Okay, so if we're going to go here. Okay. Take this out here. Still going with Go, uh, go Daddy. Uh, they seem to have uh, idiots working for them. I call them up 
to transfer my two domains over. I'm going to make it short because I've said it a hundred times already, but it drives me nuts. So they told me that one of my domains I can't transfer it until March 8th, which was yesterday. Because when you first buy your domain, they put a lock on it for, uh, for a few months to make sure that nobody steals it on you. You know what? I appreciate that. But once I've given you all the information that you needed, yeah, you start thinking, okay, hello, you know, it is me that you're talking to. Anyhow, they tell me on my other one that I've had for years that they sent me the unlock for it so that I can transfer to the other, the other company. I said, why well, didn't get it? I says, I'm getting your emails. I got emails from you saying that it's unlocked, but I didn't get the unlock code. And it also says, if this isn't me, you know, to let him notify and change my password. Well, it was me. So, not a big deal. So, I never got the code. I call him up. Tell him I need the code. He says, well, one of them is locked. I go, I heard that. But that's another long story. I'm not going to get into that. I said, but what about the other one? Well, we sent you that code. Well, where did you send it? I'm getting emails from you saying it's unlocked, but I'm not getting emails saying this is the code that you need. Oh, well, wait a minute. I'm waiting. He gets back to me. He says, we sent it to SBBW. SBBW. I called you guys up 10, 12 years ago and canceled that. I says, I don't have that anymore. I've never had that since then. I says, I had it. At one time I had uh, a Zoom uh, navigation uh, installation and teaching on boats and stuff, so I decided to open up Seabuzz Boatworks. So, uh, but I, when I stopped, I said, screw it, you know, I'm done. I want to uh, want to relax and that's it. So I never renewed that domain and I canceled the auto renewals and I called them up and made changes and canceled, well according to them, uh, I canceled all the emails addresses that was attached to it. Well apparently they never took out the one that went to me through them somehow, whatever. And uh, couldn't do anything with it. So I had to go in with him on the phone. I said, okay, I'm going to keep you on the phone, and we're going to go through this together, and I'm going to change it. Now, that, remember that 60 days? Well, that 60 days is for new accounts, or if you were to change anything in your account, it locks you up for 60 days. Well, he's telling me to make the change so I can get the email I need. So I said, well, you're going to be on the line with me when I'm doing this. So I told him step by step, went through it, I changed it. I said, okay, it's changed. Now you can send me the code. No, I can't. Because you just made a change. You gotta wait sixty days. You know, I really if this guy was here, I'd 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 whack him. I really would. That's all there is to it. This guy's an idiot. Then he says, I says, Were you born yesterday? I says <clears throat> And then I says, are you an asshole? Were you born an asshole? Or did you have to work at it? And I says, you know, and then I called him a dumb mother, blah, blah. He goes, well, I like to keep this call professional. I says, well, so would I. But apparently you're not a professional because you're telling me to do things that's making it worse instead of better. 
two hours and 22 minutes I was on the phone with these guys. Got nowhere. So I said, I'm going to wait until Monday, which was the 8th, and I'm going to call them up then, take care of what I got to do. Well, I didn't get it done because um, Buddy getting his little <clears throat> and his ear taken care of was more important than an email address. So now, I got to call them, but I want to get this done. Now the email is important, it is, but this is also important, so I, I got to get this done. Okay, now wait a minute now. Front, okay. This is the front. That's out. So this has to come off. Okay. These things are not made for left-handed people. got it covered. Your finger goes on, your thumb is right there if you need it. You're left-handed, your finger goes right over it, so it automatically pushes it in when you're trying to cut. <laughs> 